Hello everyone. We found something amazing in Esther chapter 5 and 6. Aman's wife and his friends told Aman that gallows of 50 cubits high should be made and he should tell the king that Mordecai be hanged on it. On the night the request was to be made of the king by Aman to hang Mordecai was the very night the king found it fit to honor Mordecai. The king couldn't sleep and commanded that the book of records of the chronicles be read to him and it was found written the good deed of Mordecai. Aman went to the king after the gallows were made with the aim to request that Mordecai be hanged, but he ended up telling the king how Mordecai should be honored. Aman became the event planner and executor of Mordecai's honoring ceremony. Aman's aim was to put a rope on Mordecai's neck, but he ended up putting the royal rope on Mordecai. God is always far ahead of the enemy and his human agents, and nothing takes him by surprise. Before the enemy and his human agents comes up with a plot against God's children, God already has a counter attacking plan in place. God fights our unseen battles and protects us from the evil that we are meant to catch us on our way. God knows how to cause circumstances and situations to work for the good of his children. It was God who made the king not to be able to sleep. God will cause those who made the plot to harm you, to honor and bless you. Those who seek to do you harm and eliminate you will mourn and cover their head in shame, just like Amen. God's plan for your life will prevail, but the plot of the enemy and his human agents against your life will be to no avail. Fear not, God bless you. Read Esther 5 and 6.